Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul. I actually haven't been to the thrift store in a hot minute and that has to do with, again, I am just trying to minimize anything I buy because I don't want to have an over cluttered house, an over cluttered closet. I feel like it just clutters my mind in a way. Um, so I am being very strict on myself when it comes to buying things in general. So I did end up going to the thrift store and I found some pieces of clothing which I'm excited for because you know fall is coming and I think I've mentioned this before but I've been trying to elevate my wardrobe a little bit more and I did find a lot of pieces that were actually on my Pinterest board for like what I'm looking for style wise and then I also found some things that I'm looking for for my hallway because I am trying to create kind of like this gallery wall and in the sake of repurposing things, I had some frames that we used to have in the old apartment. And I'm using some of those, but I was missing a couple. So that is mainly what I went on the hunt for. Um, so if you want to see what it is that I got, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the frames that I ended up finding. Mainly because I want to do the clothing, but I want to do like a try-on haul as well. Um, just so that you guys can see how I would style it. Um, so yeah, the first couple of things... Let me actually reach over and get them. So the frames I got from two different thrift stores and I did end up getting a lot of frames now that they think about it. So one of the first ones that I got was this one and I'm sorry it has like a plastic film on it and I'm not trying to give you guys a glare. Um, and so this is what it is. It just has three slots for pictures. Um, originally it even still has a price tag actually. It was $30. They had it on sale for $14.46 and I think it was also like half off and then like a little bit extra. So I ended up getting this one and I like it because it's very long and it's already gold so I don't have to worry about spray painting it. This one I actually am gonna have to spray paint but I mainly got it because I liked the um, shape of the frame and like the texture and stuff. I figured that it would still look very pretty if it was in gold um, so I am just gonna spray paint it and mount it on the wall. It is meant to like actually have like sitting on something but I am gonna go ahead and take this off and again just stick it on that wall. Oh, I didn't mention this one was 75 cents. This next one, actually my sister found it and I like it because it has a ton of details, like as I'm sure you guys can see from here. Um, it has like this border and then it's gold and I just, details, I wanted details. Um, this one was, I think it's $4.98. It does have a little quote in it already, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and pop in my own kind of like picture or quote or something inspirational in there. Now these next two I actually found at a different thrift store and I kind of like the prints but I don't like the color of them because I don't have this color anywhere in my apartment but they're like really pretty and so I'm like do I just paint them do I just change it to like match the colors I'm going for so they were both $7.99 and it has almost like this Grecian inspired print inside if not I might just save that print but as you can see it's kind of like a Grecian inspired print I just thought it was pretty but I'm sure I can probably use this somewhere else I wish I had these tones like where I'm putting it. But anyways, this one was $7.99. Again, mainly I got it because of the frame. And then it had its like matching little buddy, not on sale together, but also for $7.99. And this one also has like a Grecian inspired um, like vase in it as well. Um, it definitely gives me like Hercules vibes. And I'm like a Disney person, so I was like, ooh, ooh. So yeah, that was it for the frames. Um, I am excited to finally, finally finish that wall because I have been wanting to finish that wall since like I moved here. <laughs> now onto the clothes. And again, I was kind of surprised with the amount of things I found, but it was also because I was mainly kind of basing it off of a Pinterest board I created because again, I'm trying to keep myself very minimal on what I buy. I'm trying to buy things that I can reuse and reuse and reuse and things that I actually like to wear. Okay, so I do want to say I did end up getting a lot of like the more oversized um, longer blouses or like men's shirts to wear um, specifically because that is a style I like. I think it's cute and I work in two offices and both are always cold or I don't know if I'm just always cold. So these are mainly just layering pieces. Okay so the first one is this gray button up. Again it is just a regular schmegular button up. It is just 
spray um, and I like it because again my idea is that I'm gonna roll up the sleeves maybe throw on a pair of jeans under this I just figured I could throw something on under this like a t-shirt a little cami um, just something underneath it obviously wear it with jeans um, or even like go with like jeans like black ripped jeans tied up with a cute little lacy bralette underneath that is just kind of like what I'm envisioning um, for all these pieces they're mainly for the same style so don't judge me <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys the prices but the prices were kind of interesting because it says like a certain price but then once they were checking me out they were like doing a discount or um, like certain things were a certain percentage off so I'm not too sure in total with the two bags of clothing and the frames I ended up paying like $26 so again I'm gonna say prices but I'm not too sure what it actually ended up costing so this one was $2.98 oh this one I actually saw and I am a fan of anything denim when it comes to like denim jackets um uh, denim jean jackets um or even like a chambray shirt moment I love like that is my look okay with chambray shirts leggings and so then I found this one and I was like you know what that is low-key cute and it's giving fall vibes and I envisioned myself at a pumpkin patch so that is what I thought um it just looks like this it is just this denim um almost chambray shirt styled sh blouse um it was 198 which again i think is a steal but it has all these like little embroidered flowers but not in spring colors i think it's like definitely in fall colors so i just thought it was really pretty this is actually in a in a size 1x so it is going to fit me a little bit more on the slouchy side and that's what i was going because i thought like this and like some leggings chef's kiss <laughs> okay again going for that same like menswear kind of look i found this one this one was 6.98 but again it was on sale it is in a extra large i got it from the men's section and let me just say i love a nice blue and white button up shirt on myself i don't know why i just i'm obsessed um and so i have one that i bought a while ago and it was from ross and i think it shrunk like a little bit so if it's me not as loose but if it's me like a like more fitted style and i wanted one that was loose so i saw this one today and i was like you know what that is cute the only downside is is that it doesn't have a pocket but i think i can survive so like just imagine this I like the outfits I'm envisioning like again if you guys need inspiration for like what style I'm going for I'll leave the Pinterest board down below oh this was actually a blouse and it was in the women's section I believe it is in an extra large right now I kind of run between a large and an extra large um, it kind of just really depends on the fit the style and so this one is in an extra large it was $2.98 but I liked it because it has the pockets but that's kind of what it looks like it has this little like knot tie at the bottom which again it's great for just like giving you some shape and it also has like these little ties for the sleeves so you can just roll them up and have like a cute little like effortless look um so i did see this and i thought it was cute again i don't know why i'm obsessed with like the white and blue stripes but i feel like it's it's a whole mood <laughs> Okay, so I have never been one to wear things that are cropped. I've never been one to kind of like show like my midriff area or I've always been someone that used to like wear things a little bit more oversized. And again, I think it's just something that comes with like growing and maturing. You just kind of know how to dress your body a little bit better. So lately I have been wearing things a little bit more cropped, <laughs> a little bit more showy. Um, and so I did see the sweater and again, I just instantly knew like this would be a cute sweater for when I'm wearing like jeans and then like a shirt tucked in, you know, like I just thought this was cute. It's crop. It's giving the fall colors, the fall scheme. Um, but again, I liked it because it's like this burnt orange, but also this white cream color and then like this like pinky dusty rose color. It looks very comfy, very slouchy. I imagined it off the shoulder. Um, again, another outfit that I could probably wear to a pumpkin patch. And before I forget it, this sweater was $2.98. So the next one is kind of giving me like sporty vibes. Um, it is kind of like a sweater that has a high little turtleneck. And most of the time I feel like we steer away from using lighter colors during fall, or at least I do. And I saw this color and I was like, you know what? This is a really pretty color. 
and I feel like it would look really pretty with like darker jeans so again this is just what it looks like it is just a plain sweater um, and it just has like a little zipper moment this one was $4.98 love this and I love the color I feel like this is such a like pretty color for like end of summer early fall going back to the same style I found this one in the men's section as well this one was in a 1x and it was $4.98 it is just your basic beige button up um I have been obsessed with beige tones black tones blue tones like there's certain tones that I'm into right now I feel like this is gonna run me through like now and fall and maybe even winter um I just thought it was cute again going for that oversized look so that I can throw it on with leggings if I wanted to or a pair of jeans and then like tie it up and like a cute little lacy something underneath and some heels like I was just thinking of like cute outfits so yeah that is what I thought would look really cute um again it's a basic button up but I feel like you can literally do so much with basic button ups and bonus it has a pocket and the final thing I got was a blazer um this was actually I believe in the women's section still but I saw it and I thought it was cute I have been trying to get into blazers a little bit more um I just feel like for some reason I don't know if I'm not getting the right ones or if they're not structured enough I haven't found one that I'm like obsessed with I have one that's beige but I feel like even that one can be a little more tailored in and then I got this one in a size 12 or an extra large it was originally $6.98 it was on sale for $3.98 and then they ended up taking another discount off of that but it is just this gray kind of like a gray color but it has like some like speckling in it which I really like so that is what it looks like it just has like this nice gold button which also sold me because I, I hate having to change buttons on things and I didn't even try this on at the store so I'm hoping 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 it actually fits there was another one that I saw which now that I think about it I probably should have actually tried it on like my sister said it had those like little pads on the um, elbows and I was like that would have been so cute like a cute fall look so I might have to go back for that but yeah that is basically it I hope you all enjoyed this haul um, I am trying to get back into the swing of at least having one video up a week hopefully hopefully I can stick to it and so yeah if you guys have any questions comments concerns if there's a video you would like to see let me know in the comments down below and if you're wondering where else you can find me my social media is always linked down below everything is always at Bianca Lizette um yeah I will see you on the next one thanks for watching bye guys um cheers you guys want to see my nails they's pretty Wowza. my nail girl is so good like she does exactly what I tell her to it's me I'm nail girl <laughs> a men's shirt short skirt uh, uh, uh. do I have lipstick on my teeth no we're good we're good Ooh, it is what it is for the dang minute I had no reason to be singing nowhere at 14. Bye guys. <laughs>